in this video we're going to create a combo chart in Google Sheets where portions of that chart are controlled by a drop down selection menu so what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today I have a column chart here each column represents year-to-date sales for four different branch locations and you can see there is a line going through each of these columns that currently reflects year-to-date expenses for each individual location. This line is controlled by this drop-down menu to the left where you can see it's currently set to year-to-date expenses but if I want to see median sales or median expenses you can see the chart updates automatically. So the first thing we want to do is create two additional columns here that contain the median sales and the median expenses. And we need to give those column headers specific names because we're going to use named ranges and if you have multiple words in your column headers there needs to be an underscore because named ranges cannot have spaces. So we have median sales and median expenses. To get the median, we simply use the median function. There's really nothing to it. So I'm going to select this range of values here and this will return the median, the middle point of those values. Now it is important here to hit F4 to make sure that this range is locked so that when we drag it down it's always pointing to that range. I'm going to do the exact same thing for our median expenses. So now we need to name each of these three ranges the same as their column headers because the column headers are actually going to be our drop down selection values when we add a drop down list. So I'm going to select this first range I want to name, go up to data, and then named ranges. So we're going to call this the same as the header year to date expenses. I'm going to select this second range, add a range. This is median sales. Click this last range, add a range. This is median expenses. So to the left of my three named ranges, I'm going to insert a new column. This is where our drop down list will be in cell C1. So I'm going to click in that cell. I'm going to go up to data and this time go to data validation. We're going to add a rule. Now, under this criteria selection, we want drop down from a range. And then in this box below it, I'm going to click in this icon here and then click here and then select this range of headers D1 to F1. Click OK. So in the cells directly below the drop down list, which this is a drop down of our named ranges. I'm going to insert the indirect function and reference this drop down because when you use indirect on a cell that contains the value of a named range, it's going to return that named range's values. So right now this cell is empty and this is showing an error message. So just in case this cell is empty will add an if error function which simply returns 
the value you want it to if there's an error. So we'll just say return nothing if there's an error instead of an error message. So now when I select any one of these three named ranges, you can see it returns the values from that named range. So now what I want to do is insert our chart. So I'm going to select this area here, go up to insert chart and under setup sometimes you have to scroll back up but under setup at the very top there is chart type selection we want a combo chart and we can customize this a little if we want so I can click on the customize chart style we can change the background color so that it shows up a little more. Under the chart title, I might bold the title and center it and change the text color to black. Under series, I'm going to select our year to date sales, which is our columns. I might change the fill color. For some reason, you have to select line color first before the fill color option will show up. So I want to change the fill to yellow. So that just changes the outside line. But after I do that, the fill color option appears. So I'm going to change that to yellow. And I think that's everything we want for now so I'm gonna just reposition this so that it's where our drop-down menu is directly to the left you can see it's currently set to expenses if I want to see median sales you can see it updates automatically if I want to see median expenses there is that and I can just continuously toggle between those three options if we want to customize that line a little more, we can go back to Edit Chart and under Customize, under Series, we can select the line value, which is year to date expenses currently. You can change the type from line to stepped area. You can see that looks little different it's just got some shading fill so it's really dependent on what you want to do well that is all for now till next time thanks for watching